Hello everyone, this is Stephanie. Welcome to another video. So today we're going to work on this bezeled bracelet. And this bracelet is using some of the beads from the Orchid Oasis collection, which is the collaboration between Eureka Crystal Beads and Gina from Orchid and Opal Beaded Jewelry. And she has a lovely YouTube channel, which I'll link down below. I believe her collection is still available. I'll put a link to that down below. I'll put a link to the video where I presented her collection in the beginning of the month, in case you want to take a look at that video. Um, but you don't have to have the collection to make this bracelet. You just need the, you know, the, the beads and this um, octagon shaped stone. So I'm going to launch right into a materials list and we'll get, um, we'll get going on this. So we have a, you know, it's a little bit longer than usual because we're, we have two different bands. Plus we have two different ways you can put your stone in your bezel. So it's kind of be fun. We have lots of interesting, <laughs> interesting, um, like stops along the way and, and, um, you know, different ways you can do things. All right, so let's get uh, the materials list going. So here you'll need the 13 by 18 millimeter. This is a, some people call it a rectangle. It's an octagon. Oct octagon rectangle. Gorgeous, huh? I don't have another, um, this one is from the collection. I don't have another pink one. That's why I put the ones out for my stash. You need two Delicas. You'll need an 11 O seed bead, a 15 O seed bead, Another 11 OC bead in a color, and these two are from the Orchid Oasis collection. You'll need about, for this one, you'll need, you know, just a handful of two different colors of bicones. And in the collection, there is a mix of bicones. There were a lot more, I've just used them. And if you can pick out six of each color, you can do this band, or you can do it multicolor and just use them all, or beads from your stash. Need a three millimeter bicone. You'll need a clasp. Now, this is the clasp I use on camera, and it is a fold-over magnetic, and I got this from Fire Mountain Gems. Uh, Gems, I'll link it below if um, you're interested. So here, I'll put this here for the clasp. You need a stop bead, size 10 and 12 or 10 and 11 beading needle. You'll need some, I'm using eight pound. You can use six pound fire line as well. Um, I think that's it. So. I will link everything down below, sizes, shapes, amounts, colors, you name it, everything down below in the description box. So don't, so don't forget to click the down hour, the show more, you know, the whole deal, you know, and anything down there that I need to, uh, coupon codes, um, you know, uh, any kind of links that you might need, anything I might forget. So I, I always want you to check that uh, description box down there. Okay, so um, don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy my channel and ring the bell so you get notified when I upload a video. All right, so let's get going. Okay, let's get started. So thread your needle with about 36 inches of thread, put on a stop bead about in the middle. So I've conditioned my thread with beeswax, but you don't have to do that. Um, so I picked up and dropped down to my stop bead 44 delicas, and I've done these alternating a gold and a green. like that. You don't have to alternate. I just think it looks pretty and it's very easy. I'm just going to sew these into a circle by sewing up the first bead after my stop bead. Like that. This is what I have. So now we're going to do a little peyote. So grab your, you know, your 11 O's because we're going to pop some 11 O's in here. So we're going to pick up, we're going to put on green beads right now. We're going to pick up a green delica. I'm exiting this gold one. I'm going to skip the green one and sew through the next gold one. So you're just only sewing through the gold beads if you're alternating. So let me just straighten that out a little bit. There we go. Okay. So skipping the green, sewing through the gold. Like that. First one is always tough. Just get that to pop up. There we go. Pick up another green. Exiting the gold. Skip the green. So through the gold one. One more time. Green one. Skipping the next green. So through the gold. Like that. Now you're going to pick up one of your 11 O seed beads. And you're going to sew. You're going to you're exiting here, skip the green, sew through the next gold. Pick up another 11 0. Exiting here, skip this one, sew through the gold. It's 
So I have two 11 O's on. So we're establishing our corners at this point. Now I'm going to go back to my green and I'm going to just put a, put a green one on next. So exiting here, skip the green, go through the gold. I'm going to do for this four times. One, two, three, maybe you're just sewing through the gold beads. Four. So that, so here we have, this is the, the top of my bezel. Here is the corner. Here is one side. So now that I've put four on, I'm going to pick up an 11-0, regular 11-0. I'm just going to peyote this one on. Exit here. Skip this one. Put on two of the 11 O's to make my next corner like that. So here we have the top, we have one side, we have another corner. So what you're going to do now is you're just going to repeat what we just did. You're going to put on three green delicas, two 11 O's, and then four of your delicas and you're going to step up. So just get down to the four delicas and then we'll step up together. So you're just repeating three and four with the two 11 O's in between. So I put on my last group of four and I have to put my two 11 O's on. So putting on one, just sewing through the gold bead, just regular peyote. And now I'm going to step up. Let me move this guy out of the way. So I'm going to pick up a gold, you know, the 11 O, going to skip the green one. So through this gold one and then the green one on the diagonal. Like that. So see now I have my, and kind of put it into shape um, by, by just making sure the four are on either side. And then there are three like that. So this is how your bezel is going to fit it. Your stone's going to go in. So I'm just going to let you get to this point and then come on back and we'll continue. Okay, we're back. So now we're going to go to the next round. So we're going to pick up, now we're going to work with our gold delicas. So we're picking up a gold delica and you're just going to sew through the next green one, the sticking out green one. Do that again. One more time. Like that. And then we're going to pick up an 11 O and put it between the two 11 O's. And I'm kind of putting my thumb in there and making sure that it kind of pulls a little, you know, pulls in a little bit so we get some shape. Now we're going to go back to our gold delicas. And we're going to sew through every sticking out green delica. to the 11 O's, we're going to pop an 11 O in that corner like that. And I'm kind of pulling it a little bit, not super tight. You don't want to, like, I'm just kind of pulling it inward a little bit. So see how we're starting to get a little shape. So you're going to continue that all the way around. Gold delicas until you get to the 11 O's, put on 11 O here. All gold delicas, 11 O, and then we'll step up together. Okay, coming down to the end. So I've put on my last 11 O in between these two 11 O's. Now I'm going to step up. So I'm picking up my gold delica, and I'll try to keep this on my thumb. Next thing, this one, I'm going to sew through this green one, and then the gold one on the diagonal. Like that. Just gently pull it into place, and this is what I have. Okay, so I'm just going to let you get to that point. And okay. we'll this is where we are so far. So now I'm going to take the, the thread we were just using and needle and put it aside. And I'm going to turn my, my bezel over so I'm on the other side. And we're just going to do a little decrease on this side. So if you notice where the, where, where the green beads are showing here. All right, so the other needle I put aside, this thread... You'll be exiting, let's see, this gold delica up here. You want to get to the outside beads. 
or you know these green beads so you're just going to sew on the diagonal right just through this green one like that so now we can put more beads on and here let me just move it this way so what we're going to do is we're going to do some decreases so we're going to decrease right away so if you see let me pull in a teeny bit okay so you see where you have a gold delica and a gold seed bead this is where we're going to decrease we're going to decrease in these two beads underneath those so this is just sort of your reference point here this gold delica and the gold seed bead exiting here so right through the next delica so we're starting right off with an, a, a decrease give it a little pull and then we're going to take some 15 o's and we're going to put them between each sticking out delica so 15 o here here another one I'm going to go all the way to the next corner where I have that gold delica and the gold seed bead above it, you know, just as, as a marker for I'm going to do my next um, decrease. So here I have, oops, keep going. Make sure you're doing the decrease right here where you have a gold delica and a gold seed bead. Back here there's a two gold seed beads, but this is the only place you have a gold delica and a gold seed bead. This is where you want to sew, you know, put your decrease. So here, exiting this green one, sewing through the next green one. That will be beads on. And you're just going to do that all the way around. Every time you get to the gold delica and the gold seed bead, you're going to sew through the two delicas under it. So do that all the way to the end, and then meet me back here and we'll step okay, up. We're coming down to the end, so I'm going to, before we step up, I'm going to pick up my last little seed bead, the 15 0 sew through the next, that green delica, and you're just going to continue right through, so right through this delica and the 15 0 on the diagonal. So that is stepped us up so we can put more beads on all right so i'm just gonna let you get to that point and then we'll continue okay, we're back so here's the bezel so far so i am making this the front but you know at this point you kind of need to decide which is going to be the front and this back the back you can play a little bit so this is how i'm putting my stone in so this is what it looks like but remember if you put it in the other way you'll have this super Squ more square piece so it's it goes it can go in either way so I just popped this I have this kind of out there so here if I want this I'm going to put the stone in like this if I want the one I'm going to make I'm going to put the stone in this is going to be the bottom of my stone so this is the way we're going but you can um, it's the same sewing either way so either one I'm going to do this one so I put my stone and it's not going to stay for a while. We have beading to do on this side as well. But now I've switched over to the other side again. And my, you know, here's my needle. And this is where I have, you know, the 11 O's in the corners and such. So now I'm just going to pick up and I have to look at my, um, my notes. I'm going to pick up. Okay, 15 o's. So I'm going to pick up my 15 o's and I'm going to put a 15 o in between each sticking out bead. So we're not changing anything. You know, we're not um, skipping anything. We're just going to put a 15 o for the next one. 15 o for this delica. 15 o through this, the corner, 11 0. So 1 15 0 in between each sticking out bead. I know it's hard to see when I hold it flat, so if I hold it sideways, so you just putting a 15, my first round of 15 0s on. Like that. And just hold your stone in and pull inward. So we get, you know, we sort of get our shape going. 
like that. So you're just going to do that all the way around till you come to the end and you're going to step up and then we'll continue. Okay, just a note here as I'm putting my 15 O's on, I'm pulling inward. So I want to frame, you know, I want the frame of the bezel to really pull in. Especially, like, see, when I go around the 11 O in the corner, giving it a nice pull inward to get the shape going nicely. And it, it will eventually capture the stone completely. It, it, a little bit every round, see? So just keep pulling inward. Make sure you're not pulling it out of shape from the other side, but just pull inward gently like that until you, you know, so it's nice and it's, so it's snug. All right. See okay, you. coming down to the last corner. So I've put on one 15 O and, you know, and sewn through this 11 O, another 15 O. Gonna sew through this Delica. Giving it a pull inward, like that. And I'm gonna step up, so we're just picking up that guy. Okay, picking up a 15 O, exiting this gold Delica right here. I'm gonna sew through this gold one, and then the 15 O on the diagonal. I'm gonna pull inward. Okay, stone, st stone is still not gonna stay beautifully, but um, we're just gonna continue on. So just get to this point and then we'll move on. Okay, let's put another round. So we're still on this side. We're gonna put 15 O's in between each sticking out 15 O. So one, two. And then what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna sew right through this 15 O. Let me see if I can pull it a little bit. Okay. I'm gonna sew directly across to this 15 O without putting a bead on. And we'll add a bead there later. On the 15 O. It's going around. Like that. I'll get you to the next corner. So here I'm at the corner. So I've sewn this bead on. Exiting this little 15 0 here, I'm just going to sew directly across to this fifth through the next 15 0 without putting a bead on. Like that. And you're going to just do that all the way around and step up, and then we'll do a little work on the other side. Okay, we're back. So I have one more round to do on this side, but I'm going to switch back to this side. So this is my front, and we're going to add some beads on this side. Um, I like switching back and forth because that way you're not. If you're working just one entire side at the same time, you end up pulling the beads in. I, this way, I think it, it makes for a more even bezel on either side. I mean, I could be wrong, but <laughs> that's, that's, um, that's how I think it works. Okay, so we're going to put some 15 O's on this side. So picking up a 15 O, sewing through the next 15 O. 15 0. Next 15 0. More time. Like that. Keep going. So you get to the corner. And then I'm going to pick up two 15 0's and I'm going to go from this bead over to this bead. And this is what kind of gives that shape. Um, well, I, I pulled this out, but it kind of gives that little different shape. It kind of goes, it goes in like the edge of the stone. So, you know, you have this line goes in a little bit, this line goes in a little bit. So either way, what's nice is that you can, you know, the beading is the same whether you put the stone in one way or you put the stone in the other way. So here I'm back to the other corner and I'm going to pick up two 15 O's and I'm just exiting here. I'm going to skip right over to this next 15 O and do that corner. And you know, you want to make sure that, you know, you're all sort of, you know, your corners are nice and where they should be. So I'm just going to do that all the way around and then uh, step up and then we'll finish the other side. Okay, coming down to the end. So my last two beads are gonna go, so here I'm exiting this 15-0, they're gonna go right here. But 
then I'm going to step up immediately. Okay, and now the front of my bezel, the way I'm going to hold it, is done. So you're just going to take this thread and I'm exiting where I stepped up right here. I'm just going to sew through this delica. So I just want to sew on the diagonal just to get rid of the thread. And then this one. Just if you want to sew through a few beads just to sort of get your thread out of the way. So here like that. You can reverse direction and clip that thread. And then we'll do our last round on the other side. Okay, last round on this side. So I'm 15 O's again. I'm going to pick up a 15 O and let me see if I can get it super tight for this. Okay, so I'm going to sew through the next 15 O, which is this one right here. Now I'm going to sew through this one. So I put that one on. I went through this one. I'm going to sew through this bead right here. So that's the next bead. And this is where we went from this bead to this bead without a th without any beads, just thread. I'm going to pick up a 15 0 and I'm going to sew. I'm going to put one right there. It's going to cover the thread and give you a little nice little corner there, like that. And then I'm just going to sew. So I'm exiting here now. I'm just going to sew through this one. I'll get you down to the next corner and we'll do it again. Then 15 0s. four 15 O's and then just like that and then so we're exiting so let me move this guy out of the way again so this is the one I just put on right there exiting here I'm just going to sew through that next bead on the diagonal so I'm in the corner now adding a 15 O there I'm going to put it right through this one like that And then kind of like stepping up, I'm just going to sew to this one so I can get some more 15 O's on. So that's just a little, you know, bit for the corner that, you know, if you want to do, you can. Uh, it, it's, I don't think it's totally necessary for the um, strength of the bezel. I just like the way it looks. So you're just going to do that all the way around and then just sew your threads in and then you're, you'll be done with your bezel. All right, see you in a few. Okay, we're back and I'm going to show you how to attach the right angle weave units to the bezel so you can get these bands on. So there are two separate bands. So this one, um, I'm going to show you how to get the units on for this one and this is the one we're going to actually do on the video. So once you get the little right angle weave units around your bezel, the, the sequence is pretty much the same. Anything that's different, I'll let you know um, on camera. So I'm, we'll get to this one in a minute because we're going to do that one, you know, the whole thing on that one. So here we're going to we're going to put the right angle weave units on. So here's a piece that I'm working on. I'm just going to let move this. Out. Well, let me just now let me move this out of the way. All right. So I'm going to hold it like this. So here's the back of my bezel. Here's the side. I'm going to be working with these beads here. So these this gold one here, this one, this one, this one, and this one. So the five gold beads and they're the second row of delicas up from the 15 O's on the bottom there. So you see these 15 O's, here's the purple ones, which you just sew through this one. And if you see, it's kind of um, on the diagonal from that 11 O seed bead. I'm going to try to pull on a teeny bit more. I'm just going to put my thread on like that. So I thread your needle with about, you know, you, got, you need a lot of thread to do the band, so at least four feet, you can always add thread. So I'm going to pick up three 11 O's and I'm going to sew through the other side of the seat bead I'm exiting. So that's my first unit on. Now I just want to move my thread over to this this guy right here, but I don't want to, I don't want any thread to show, so I'm just going to do everything on the diagonal. So I'm going to sew through that one. I'm going to sew through move that out of the way. There we go. That one. Sew through. Sew through this one. 
It doesn't really matter which ones you sew through as long as you get to that point on the diagonal. So through this one. And then sew through this one. Like that. I'm going to pick up three 11 O's. I'm going to sew through the other side of the seat bead I'm exiting. I'm going to work my way down to this one. So again, the one that's sort of on the diagonal from that CB. And I'm just going to do this by, again, sewing on the diagonal. So through this one. This one. Let's put the one. Through the gold one. That's what I have so far. Pick up three 11 ohms. So through the other side of the CB I'm exiting. See how that put on three units. I'm going to turn it to the front like that. I'm going to sew through. So I'm exiting this unit here. I'm going to sew through this one and this one. And then we're going to use the same sequence that we used, that we're going to use for the next band, only you're just going to, you know, just do an extra one. And you'll see that as you go along. So here you go. So I'm going to come back and we'll put the units on for the other. So let's get the units on, the two units on for this band. I was thinking you could even do it this way. Hmm. Lots of options. So here's my bezel. With this particular one, we're going to work with that first round of delicas after these 15 now. So one, two, three, four, and five. I'm just going to span over these. So I've sewn up through this first one right here. So here's my stop bead. Here's my thread. I'm going to pick up three 11 O's. So it goes on just a little differently because we're just putting two units on. So exiting here, I'm going to, I'm not going to sew around. I'm going to just sew through the next delica like that. And that's going to put those three on. And now I want to work my way down to this delica. So I have to pass through these to get to this delica. So again, we're going to work on the diagonal. And work, you know, on the top or bottom, whatever, just as long as you're, you're sewing on the diagonal. I'm just leaving that one out of the way so you can see what I'm doing. So here, here, and then I want to come up this one. I can pull this one tight so it goes into place. And then I'm going to pick up three 11 O's and I'm going to just sew through the next one. So this one. So that next gold delica. And see how I've just placed two on this time. I'm going to turn this way. I'm going to sew through this one and this one on the diagonal. I'm just hearing all kinds of animals outside. I mean, you'd think I lived, you know, out in the mountains somewhere. I just live in the suburbs, but I have lots of wildlife. All right, so here we go. So this is where you're going to exit, and then we're going to start the band. Okay, finally, we can get some beading done. So pick up three 11 O's, exiting here. So through the other side of the seed bead, you're exiting. We're going to pick up a four millimeter, by, actually you're going to pick up a 15-0, a four millimeter bicone, and a 15-0 if you are doing the shorter band, because we have a longer span in between, so we have to sort of fill that space a little bit. So I have a 15-0, four millimeter bicone, 15-0. If you are doing this guy, you don't need the 15-0, just put that four millimeter bicone in and sew, and sew directly through. So you're just going to take the bicone and sew just like we did here. Three 11 O's. So through the other side of the seed bead, you're exiting. I pull the thread that I'm, uh, the working thread a little bit just to get that unit tight, like that. So through the side seed bead and the bottom seed bead of that unit, pick up three 11 O's. So through the other side of the seed bead, you're exiting. Pick up three 11 O's. So through this guy, 
three eleven O's. So through the other side of the seed bead you're exiting, pulling that thread a little bit so it tightens up. You can even pull the unit, see if you pull the unit a little bit this way and then pull this way, it tightens everybody up. So through the side seed bead and the bottom seed bead, three eleven O's. Through the other side of the seed bead you're exiting. And now what I did, uh, let's see, did I do that here? Yes. Okay. So I added another 311 O's now, instead of a bicone, I'm putting 311 O's on. And then, you know, sewing through the next 11 O, 311 O's, sewing through the other side of the seed bead I'm exiting, sewing through the side seed bead and the bottom seed bead. And I'm going to pick up 311 O's. Sewing through the other side of the seed bead I'm exiting. I'm going to pick up another bicone here. I'm going to sew through. Whoops. One, a bicone, a seed bead, a seed bead, bicone, seed bead. So 15 O, sorry about that. 15 O, bicone, 15 O. Sew through this one. Three eleven O's. So through the other side, seed bead you're exiting. So through the side seed bead, the bottom seed bead, like that. Okay, and you're just going to repeat this sequence, if you like this sequence, all the way down. So I've got a bicone, and then I have two rows of 11 O's. Bicone, and then I'm going to do 11 O's. So just go back and repeat. Bicone, the two 11 O rows, bicone to 11 O rows, and just keep doing that. And I ended by putting on like three just late, like sort of like um, lacy rows at the end without any bicones. So if you run out of bicones or, you know, you just want to do, you know, this part, you can put more of this part on and, um, you know, use less bicones. All right. So, or on either one, on the wide one or the you know, the more narrow one. So just continue that sequence all the way down, do it on the other side. Um, and then, so you're going to add a thread to the other side. And then we're going to put the clasp on one end, and then we'll put the clasp on the other end. So you'd be using your thread. If you need to add thread, um, add thread at this point, you know, or whatever point you need to add thread. And then, um, so get both sides done and then get ready to put on your clasp. And then you could just embellish the front and you're done. Okay, let's add on the clasp on one side now. So I am, I've made the length I need, exiting this top bead, and I'm using one of these clasps that have three holes here. I'll link down below where I got it. I think it was Fire Mountain Gems. Just going to sew through that end hole like that. I'm going to pick up three 11 O's. I'm going to sew through the other hole on the other end. Like that. And then right down this bead, that top C bead of that other unit. Now you want to sew around, so sewing through this guy, so the side C bead, directly across all of these beads, this whole line of seed beads, or if you're at a bicone at that point through the bicone, the you know seed bead, bicone, seed bead. That's going to attach your clasp, but you want to reinforce, so just do everything again. Going through here, through the hole, through the seed beads. Oh, I got an extra one in there. So I have actually, well, a 15 0 snuck in there, but I think you'll just 311 0s be good. And then down through the hole again. Don't get caught under thread, there we go. And then through these two. And at this point, you can reinforce your entire bracelet if you like. So, and it's always, I don't know, I always reinforce this um, particular design because I think it looks better when you um, reinforce. So I'm just gonna sew through that whole group, through this one and then sew through 
this entire group of beads right across. If you have to add thread, you can add thread here and then through the this group of beads with the bicone and the 11 O's. A little gnat flying around. And then down these guys. So you can do this all the way down to the end and it just makes it nice and strong. And I just think it kind of straightens out all the beads and it looks really pretty. So you can, so here's the difference. So here, let me pop that in place, there we go. So it just gives a little, makes a little more rigid. And then the only thing you're gonna do after this is you're gonna add another thread and you're gonna put a bicone and a seed bead on the edges and we'll, I'll get you started on that. Okay, we're back and I wanna show you how to do this, the edge piece. Now I lost, I had already done it and I lost the clip, so I had to kind of, and I needed this bezel, so <laughs> that stone. So I'm just gonna walk you through it so easy. So, you know, your side is done, you have, you actually have your clasp on at this point. All you're gonna do is take a thread long enough to go around and you're just gonna sew through this 11 -0 right here and then you're going to add a three millimeter bicone sew through the next 11 on the edge add a three uh 11 seed bead sew through this one three millimeter bicone sew through this one so you're just going to alternate go through your clasp again do the same thing on the other side and then you will be all embellished on the sides all right so sorry about that but um i hope that helped okay we're back and we're getting there we're almost done now we're going to do a little stitch in the ditch around the bezel. So, I mean, if you just want to, you know, keep it this way, you can. And I've already started the stitch in the ditch, um, but I'll just, I'm just going to show you with this thread. So just sort of pretend that the, those gold beads on the outside aren't there. All you're going to do is you're going to thread a needle. You know, you don't need much thread. You need to go around once and then again to put on the other bead. So a couple of feet, two and a half feet. And you want to exit, so let's say this is where my thread is coming out here. So you see, I want to, I want to come out of the, the gold delica, so not the first green one that's around my bezel right there, but the next line. So here, if I pull this one up, I'm just sewing right through this bead, this gold bead right there to put on a bead. And that's where you're going to put your stitch in the ditch. So the next bead's going to go here and then here then here that just allows for space over here so you're just going to pick up your 11 0 and you're just going to sew through the next delica so that's what stitch in the ditch is putting on a bead between here and here you can switch to a size 12 beading needle here if you need to so just like that so just do that all the way around until you get to the end and then we'll add the last round of embellishment on. Okay, coming down to the last bead. So here I'm, or last couple of beads. So I'm gonna put one of my beads here, like that. And now my last 11 -0 is going to go in this, this last space. Just move my tail thread out of the way. So right here between these two delicas, like that. And then I want you to come up that first 11-0, uh, you know, stitch in the ditch that you put on. So you're exiting that bead. Here's my tail thread, you can give that a pull. All right, so that's where you're going to come out and then we're going to add the last embellishment. Okay, last embellishment. Now, you know, you can stop at any point. I absolutely love it just like this. I don't think it needs anything else, but let's just go one more. So I'm going to pick up a bicone, and we're just going to put a bicone between the, the two stitch in the ditch beads. Then you're going to pick up an 11-0, put an 11-0 in between, that, through the next one. Bicone, through the next one. So you're just alternating bicones and 11-0s through each stitch in the ditch bead. And, you know, give them a pull so they pop in there, just like that. And that's all you're gonna do all the way around. I'll just actually let you finish that on your own. And then you're just going to sew your threads in and then come on back and we'll finish up. Okay, we're back and we're done. So I was going to um, take the last round off and so I didn't sew on my threads, but you know what? Now that I put it on, I absolutely adore it with that last round on. So 
really you have options here and what I'm going to love to see for those of you who do make this what your options are how how are you going to make it are you going to do the double are you going to do the single are you going to embellish so I'd like to see how you've uh, you sort of um play with the the bracelet and see what you come up with what about a ring that's a possibility too gorgeous love these octagon stones so there you have it here's your bracelet using some of the beads from the orchid oasis collection don't forget gina's website or youtube channel i will link it down below you don't have to have that collection to make this though i will link everything down below places to purchase all the materials you need so if you have it in your stash or you want to just get the octagon stone you know you can do that all right so i want to thank you again for joining me and i'll see you in the next video bye bye